Hey guys, this is Lesson 2 in DVD Studio Pro, and we're going to pick up right where we left off. In the first movie, we uh, made a quick, easy-to-burn DVD with a movie assigned to play movies and a slideshow assigned to slideshow. For this video, I want you to go to Configurations and go to Advanced, and you'll see what I see, okay? So now here we are at the very end. I just set up a new project. It's not the same project from the last video, but it's just you go through that first video and you'll end up here, okay? You open your Advanced View. You'll see we have a movie assigned to the Play Movies button, just like we did in the first one. And because of that, we'll see down here that the LP tracking is the movie that I assigned to the Play Movies, and it automatically shows up down here in the timeline, okay? So if you go to the viewer, you can see your movie, and you can see everything just like a little timeline. So let's, let's, let's set a few chapter markers. If you notice, there's an introduction, so I want to go to the end of the introduction and set my first chapter marker. And to do this, you hit the M key, or just click up here in this little area. So I'll hit the M key, and then you can see it set a chapter 2. First, I'm going to set another, another random chapter here, right here. We'll hit an M key, or click up here, and it sets chapter 3 marker. Okay, chapter 4. 4 right here, close to the end. This time, I'll hit the M key. And you'll see we have set some chapter markers. Okay, and I'll show you what this does for us here in a minute. But what we want to do is now we're going to add a transition. When I click this play movie button, instead of it just jumping straight to the movie, I want it to have a transition. Okay, so I'm going to select the movie. Okay, I want you to select the movie. And down here in the buttons menu, you'll see a style advanced colors and transition go to transitions tab now there'll be this little drop down menu and you can pick what transition you want out of all these transitions I'm just gonna pick melt okay that sets our melt transition now I'm gonna simulate this disk and show you what we've done simulate now we have our menu here okay now if I click play movie you'll see that the transition between this and the movie kinda melts away See there? That's, let's set this to uh, HD. Okay, so now we're playing our movie. Our transition is in there. Nice. So now we added those chapter markers. What did that do? Well, you'll notice as I'm playing the movie, if I skip, hit the chapter skip forward, it goes to the next chapter marker. So you can have different chapters in your DVD. You can have different scenes. Like, you know, you can skip, like on regular DVDs, when you can skip certain chapters, as you can see. Now we had four chapters set up, and we have a transition set up into our movie here, as you can see. We set it to melt, and it's melting away. And we also have chapters. And that is a quick, dirty how-to add chapter markers and transitions to your quick burn DVD lesson that we went over just in the in the last video remember go to video configurations advanced you'll have all your media imported and you'll be ready to burn your DVD but before you do that set your chapter markers where you want by going through here and then you set a transition to your buttons by clicking the button going over to your buttons menu clicking your transition and from the drop down menu click any button that you want. As you can see, there's all kinds here. Let's get the cube. If I set it to cube, and I simulate the disk, and select my movie, you can see it transitions into a cube. And no matter how many movies and stuff you have, you can always use transitions the same way. Okay? So this was just another added little trick you can do to spruce up your DVD. We're going to get into more advanced things, you know, more advanced menus, bigger menus, more complex menus. And this is just a way to add transitions to your buttons and to set chapter markers so people can skip through your DVDs. Thanks for watching, and I hope you watch the next one coming. Thanks, guys.